Alright everybody, it's Nysos. Welcome back. We're going to play some scrolls today. Uh, for my channel regulars, uh, Packrat and I weren't able to get together this week to... Uh, wow, it's a bit loud. Let me turn the volume music down a little bit. Uh, Packrat and I weren't able to get together this week to do crash landing, but uh, that'll, that'll be coming back probably next week, so just heads up on that. But anyway, today we're going to play some scrolls. Um, I've been doing some stuff offline, and I've created a deck that is working out pretty well. Um, I've cleared a whole bunch of the, well, I've cleared all the easies and a bunch of the medium trials. And today I thought we'd try King of Beasts. So these last four, I'm taking a look, and it looks like this is uh, decay, this is growth, this is order, and this is uh, energy. So I hate Decay. I, I still hate playing against Decay, and that still gives me trouble on some of the medium and the hot, the hard uh, dailies. I've been doing those. So I, I have completed a couple of the hards, but uh, the easy and the medium are pretty much a, a shoe in at this point. Anyway, let's go ahead and do some King of Beasts here. Uh, basically, destroy the idols. They start with a Wetland Ranger, and we get Walking Stones. I'm not sure what Walking Stones are, but we'll give that a try. Uh, so, last time I think I recorded, I had the Reaver's Revenge was brand new, and I probably should have learned the deck a little before I recorded, but, well, there you go. Uh, and then I upgraded it and changed a few things around, and then I decided, alright, I don't really like that. I really want to make uh, an automation deck. So this deck is all about structures and automation. Uh, what are they? Not automation. Automatons. Alright, so let's see what we start out with here. Uh, a Walking Stones, which... Oh, all damage, yeah, okay. So you, this can only be hit for one point. Now, what are you? You're a boss. You've got a ward, so I can't, like, cast a spell or, or one of these burns. I can't cast that on him. And uh, if he hits one of my idols, pillage effects uh, take effect if he hits an idol. Uh, your units get one attack during the next punk turn. Okay. So he's going to take a bit of damage to kill. You can see a bunch of my cards down here. Um, this isn't a bad starting hand. I'll go with this. So I, I'll get this gun, automaton out, uh, like the gun automaton. We'll get a forge going pretty soon. Maybe get a burn on somebody. We'll see. See how many of these I can get out there. Um, I'll, I'll describe the different cards a little bit. He's got bunnies. He He's got bunnies. Um, how do you get attack? Wetland Ranger. Pillage. Oh, right. So if he hits an idol, then... You get plus one attack during your next turn. All right. Uh, so that's weird. So... And did he just go from one to... Oh, no. He's got a plus one attack as well. So these guys, if their attack is zero, they split into two. But then, if this guy hits they, hits one of my idols, they'll get a, a plus one attack. So I don't know. This is this is going to be a weird. <laughs> this, this is shaping up to be a weird battle. Anyway, uh, let's get rid of one of these burns. I don't have enough points for that yet. We'll go ahead and throw down. Um, well, I can either throw the gun automaton, which will almost get killed, or I can throw the useless contraption. Let's throw this one first. Okay, an owl. He's got a bunch of stuff I've never played before. Flying. What is flying? Mean? Oh, owl can move to any tile if that tile is not, if the tile is not adjacent to owl. Its countdown is <laughs> increased. Okay, so he can move anywhere on the board, but if he moves to one that's not adjacent, then he gets an increased countdown. That's a weird creature. Um. I want to keep this burn. I'll be able to play that shortly. I like getting these out early. Let's get rid of the Fulmination Conduit, which is pretty cool. You place that down and it basically stores up energy. Uh, okay, so you can. I can either let him hit me and kill me, or I can hide this guy and then be able to attack back next round. Uh, let's do this, actually. Let's put you behind a wall. And then hopefully I'll be able to get him next round. Well, hit him. He's got five friggin' hell, so... And he's gonna go for the pillage again, of course. 
Oh, more bunnies. What? Appa... Appa what? Appa... Apperton... Okay, Replenish gives him uh, wild points when he plays that. Ah, come back. Enchanted Beast gets plus one health for each beast you control. Wow! He's gonna have some crazy bunnies here pretty quickly. Uh, okay, let's get this forge out. Now I can spark him for two. And he's gonna attack every turn. Man, that sucks. Let's, uh, shoot. I don't know which one to sacrifice. If I sacrifice this and then I hit him. Alright, yeah, let's do that. Let's sacrifice this. We'll hit him with this guy and then that guy will die. And then let's put up a, f actually, yeah, I'll put a forge in front of it. This guy's got five health. Oh, I shouldn't have moved there. I should have moved back one. Oh, well. That's still okay. So this guy's going to create uh, gun automatons for me. But it's going to move them. The only place it can put them right now is right there. So that's fine. All right. And the next turn, I've got four points. I can throw a burn. He's going to hit for two and get rid of that wetland ranger. Right now. All right, you guys are gonna go for that one. Bountiful times. Uh oh, what is that gonna do? Summon a bunny. Other bunnies have their countdowns decreased by two. I'm getting killed by bunnies. Oh, this is hilarious. Uh, okay, we're gonna play burn, and I need cards, so let's go ahead. I do. Well, yeah. All right, let's just do that. I want to burn you. Bye bye. I can't burn you? Oh, he's got a ward! Oh, I forgot he's got ward on. Dang it! Alright, well, I can't burn him. Um, okay, let's put a state machine up. I like the state machines. It damages any pl uh, creature he plays. does one point of damage when they play it. Uh, one point magic damage when he plays a new creature. All of these guys have one point, so if he played them, they'd die instantly, which is kind of cool. Oh, I totally forgot he's got it. He's a boss, so I can't play spells. Dang it. Alright, whatever. Let's go. Let's continue on. That owl is weird. Okay, yes, you're going to kill the walking stone. That's fine. Um, let's sacrifice one of you. Let's see, what do I want to play? Four points. I can burn and just kill somebody. And burn, nice thing about burn is you get a uh, scroll if you kill the creature. So I might do that. I could burn this guy. He, I mean, he's not anything special, but he attacks for a lot. What I really want to do is put a wall here and then move this guy down. All right, let's let's get cards and see what we can do. Um, the gun, the, the scout automaton is really cool because it, a, it has armor, so every attack is one less. And then it buffs every other automaton I have to have a plus one attack. But if I move this guy... Oh, that'll kill him. But then he'll still die. Well, it's just a gun automaton. That's fine. All right. Let's put the scout here. And now this guy's going to go to three attack. Move you here. That'll kill the ranger. And that's all I can do this turn. And then he's going to kill my, my little gun automaton. But that's okay because I'm going to have lots of gun automatons pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You kill him. Okay, now this is the interesting part. These guys are all going to double this turn. They have zero attack, but they're all going to double this turn. So if he can get something that buffs their attack, we're going to have a lot of bunny rabbits to mess with here real soon. Okay, we're going to get a gun automaton because he's ready. Um, do I have... Yeah, let's play these two. Okay, so... And I'll keep the burn. I'm not going to be able to play it this turn. This one's cool. I like... The idea behind it, I just keep having a tough time actually getting it to work. So you play this guy, he's only got one attack, but every time he plays a spell, and it has to be a spell, it's not a enchantment or a whatever else, uh, he gets plus two attack. And then if this guy's at three or higher attack, by whatever means, like these scout automatons, uh, when he's destroyed, we get uh, one energy, which is really great. But... I have a tough time getting to that point a lot of times. So anyway, 
Long story short, I'm going to sacrifice that. That's going to give us five energy, and then we're going to get another Automata Forge. I think I'm going to stick that down here in this corner. Well, let's see. You're going to attack for one. I mean, I can use this as a wall, but it gets to be kind of a mess if I put too much stuff right in the middle. Let's put it here. We'll kind of use it as a wall down here, and I'll put another gun automaton here. Oh, actually, you have armor. You're not going to get hurt by this guy at all. He only hits for one. Unless they buff him or something, but whatever. Let's do that. Okay, moving on. Okay, here comes the splits. What, what is he doing? He's putting them all next to each other? And Rat King. Interesting. Okay, see those those three all got hit for one by the state machine. And there they come. Oh, they're splitting, but they only have one health and the state machine's killing them. That's amazing. I love it. Okay. Very, very, very cool. Okay, now this the only thing about the state machine is when the cooldown reaches zero, it goes away. So it doesn't stand, uh, stay forever. Oh, and yeah, originally intended to roast beans, but in, it actually roasts your opponent. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. Um, I, oh, these are both good cards. I think he's playing a lot of low health creatures, and so I think I'm going to get rid of burn. I'm going to play this state machine. Uh, machine chance, another one where I can do a bunch of damage to one, uh, well, damage based on how many structures I have to one guy, but the important part here is, again, increase energy by one. So I'm looking for all these synergy cards where I can get extra energy, I can get an extra scroll, or whatever. Uh, okay, so you can only attack for one, but that would kill one of these rats. They only attack for one, so they can't hurt you. Uh, let's put this state machine here. And for this turn, I'll have two of them up. If he plays uh, creatures this turn, then, well, I don't know if it's this turn or next turn. Anyway, that'll help destroy some of his guys. Oculus Cannon's weird. I can't play Machine Chant right now. I uh, can't kill. Eat health. That's ridiculous. All right, let's just put you down here and call that good. Go. I need to look at these forges again. I just remembered you can actually pay energy. Oh, did you see that? He moved from there to there. That's crazy. Oh, here comes the Great Wolf. Oh, look at that. Two points from the state machine, and that one just counted down. So you can actually pay three energy to decrease the countdown and get, get your gun automaton out faster. But uh, Okay, so we got a new gun here. That's good. Let's... Um, I got one, two, three structures up, so this machine chant would currently do three. I could do that and get rid of this great wolf before he gets a chance to do anything. That seems like a pretty good idea. You guys are going to hit this for three. I don't really like that. But that's life. Okay. Well, as long as they don't go like champion ring or something, it'll survive. We'll, we'll try that. Let's do this one because I want to get that free energy out of it. Oops. And uh, we're going to sacrifice the Oculus Cannon. This guy doesn't count down. Uh, you have to... Well, he only counts down if an opponent moves into his, his row, and then he goes to zero. Uh, the other way is there's a Bombard... A Bombard? Bombard? That's hard to say. Bombard uh, scroll, which will set his account down to zero as well, and allow him to attack. But anyway, we're going to get rid of him for energy. And we're going to play Machine Chant, get rid of this guy right here, which gives me now two energy this ground, and that's probably about all the energy I'm going to need. So let's move you in. Um, let's move... Dang. Yeah, let's... Uh, we'll leave you there as kind of a wall, I guess. Yeah, I suppose. I wanted to get down here and start hitting these guys, but I don't see it happening right now. So all these guys are zero. They're just... It doesn't matter. I'm just going to start killing them off to get them off the board. These guys I should get rid of. Whatever. Let's move on. 
So, do a little damage to him. Hit an idol, yay! And moving on. Ragged Wolf, start with haste. Don't like you guys. Blech. Oh, he's got the bears. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Jerk. So the bear is interesting. It only has an attack of one, but if I have any humans out, then it gets a plus three attack and relentless. Fortunately, I've only got, I think, two humans in my deck. So that's one of the one of the <laughs> many reasons I thought I might try this automaton deck. Uh, okay, let's get some more cards. Let's get... Okay, so we got Power Trip. We got Bombard. I got a Replication. None of you guys can do any real damage. Well, you can do a little bit of damage. Let's get you down here. We'll kill that owl. Um, may as well... Yeah, let's get some guys down here so I can start taking this out. Replications are interesting. They're a 3 2, two ranged, uh, but if I have two or more energy at the end of my turn and this guy dies, he goes right into, back into my hand. So it's basically free scrolls or a free replication every time. Now, where do I want to put... I think I want to play him. Where do I want to put you? I'm put you right here? Yeah, let's put you right up front. And that way we'll have a chance maybe to let you die and come back to my hand. Basically make him focus resources on killing this guy, but then getting back. Uh, and with my scout, of course, he gets a buff, so he's a 4-2-2. Uh, Bombard would make both of these guys fire this turn. I'd hit that for 7. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, and I could fire this guy too. Okay, let's do that. So this guy makes all the glowing uh, squares, hexes I guess they are, uh, decrease countdown by two, but only ranged, uh, ranged or lobbers. So, bam, and now all three of these are going to hit. I'll be able to kill that ragged wolf off. These guys hit for zero, so who cares. And we'll do that. let's go. Oh, got another gun. Nice. Oh, and I blocked this guy, so he can't actually output a gun. My bad. That was a, a derp move. Alright, cool. A seven hit there. Got rid of one of them. What do we got? Rats? No, not rats. State machine doing his job. Yeah. Love those state machines. This is probably the best the state machine has ever done. Okay, this will give me an extra energy, which is good. I like my power trip. That gives me plus three energy. Well, it gives you plus six, but you cost three to play it. So it's basically plus three current energy, not total energy. Uh, one, two, three. We're going to we're gonna machine chant you. Now, do I want... And that'll get, get me to eight. Okay, let's go for cards here. Oh, we got our Thunder Surge and a Burn. So I can do this for energy or this for um, a card, a scroll, or this just because it's awesome. Uh, let's do this for energy first. We'll get rid of the Striped Fang Bear. Bye bye. And then we'll just we'll save our points for next turn. Oh, I should have moved this guy. Darn it. Okay, you guys are going to kill this this turn, that's fine, but then you're dead. Oh, we got more Rat King? Beast Rat and Rat King, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, you've killed a Forge, whatever will I do? Oh, do you guys see what's happening this turn? <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry, AI, but this is going to go very poorly for you. Two damage to all connected units. Huh. Like half of his board? Alright, let's do this, this. We're going to sacrifice Violent Dispersal, which is not bad, but let's, uh, let's get more cards out of that. That's fine. Uh, I can even play a Gun Automaton this turn. Nice. And we kind of want to get back into this middle, so let's move you there. I'm going to get another gun out of you really soon. Uh, we're going to hit that. Thunder Surge! Boom! Bye-bye, guys. See ya. Hasta la pasta. All right, so kill, kill, and three points on this idol. Why do I, I want to damage this idol? <sighs> Whatever. I guess I could go for the extra idols. You get bo uh, bonus points for killing extra idols, but whatever. I didn't really need to do that. Um, let's put down the gun and go. 
Looks like this is going to be a pretty easy match. He's got kind of a weird gimmick with the bunnies and the wetland ranger, but it doesn't look like that's going to really play out very well for him. Unless he's got something in that deck I don't know about yet. He does have a lot of rat kings and stuff. He's playing a lot of low point cards. Or low point creatures, I should say. Maybe that was the point, is to kind of fill up his side. Oh, yeah, there's my state machine. We'll take that. Uh, let's see, can I do anything really incredible with this bombard? Um, if I move that over, I could get six. So I could kill this one. I could get. I could kill two of them, but not three. All right, we're just gonna we're gonna hold on to that. Problem I get into is I don't want to sacrifice any of these, but if you're not sacrificing, you're basically giving up either energy or an extra card. Because, yes, these three are good, but the next two might be even better. You don't know. You just don't know. Uh, out of these, I'm going to sacrifice the Bombard. Oh, and there's my one human. One of my two humans. Okay, so we can... Let's see, eight points. That's seven. I'd like to play the state machine so all of his guys get hurt when they come out. I'd also like to spark. I'd also like to burn. Hmm... All right, let's play the state machine. Okay, where do we want to move? I honestly, I don't want to. I'm not really worried about this. Let's move everybody this way. I guess I'll leave the replicant there just to block, and we'll get these guys here. You've got a place to place another one. That's all fine. Let's put the state machine down. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We'll put him in the back corner, and let's burn one just to kill it and get an extra card. Yep, that'll do. And another replicant for next turn. Okay. I think we can do this. Actually, I've got a lot of gun automatons out now. If I had a, if I had kept that bombard, I might be able to put them all in the middle and just just wreck this dude. But let's see where we're at. Okay, I can spark. Top Reaver Thea is from the Reavers deck, uh, obviously. Uh, Reaver's Revenge, and she's piercing and hits pretty hard. So if I got her out and then hit Bombard, I could basically clear this entire row in one shot. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so you two, if I leave you there, are going to kill that. Um, I'll move you up one. So you're going to kill this guy. You're going to not kill that guy. Dang it. I could spark this guy. And then... I see you're still not going to kill him. Man, I need another scout automaton so this guy would have a two attack. But I don't have one. Oh, I can sacrifice. Um, I'll sacrifice the replicant. Get a scout. Yes! Alright, so then you'll hit for two. Okay, so you'll hit, kill that. You'll hit, kill that. You'll hit, kill that. That's great. I like all those things. And you guys are going to hit and kill this. You're going to not quite kill that but that's fine let's put the scout the second scout over here as a kind of a block uh, forge is less interesting now because it's later in the game and I've already got lots of lots of uh, automaton auto, what are they caught I can't say it automatons there we go I already have lots of automatons out uh, just for kicks let's go ahead and just spark well, if I kill one of these, then I would actually kill this this round. So, I'm going to just kill you. Sure, why not? And we'll just throw this guy down. He's a four, uh, four attack, but because of the two scouts, he'll hit for six. Which means, I think next turn we win. Unless he plays something crazy. Never know what's going to come up next turn, but uh, we should be in pretty good shape. Oh, right, and that actually buffed that, so I could have moved this one down. I uh, didn't think about that. Oh, well, next time. What do we got? Stagheart. Oh, you have staghearted your one... <laughs> your one uh, beast rat. That's not really going to do you much good, guy. All right. Um, I don't know. It, it, I th it's, a, it's done, right? Yeah, six, three, done. I mean, I could go for multiple uh, extra idols and stuff, but meh, whatever. I'm just going to machine chant you because I can. It's funny. Oh, I can't? Really? Why can't I machine chant on you? Oh! 
Okay. All right, we're back online. Yay. Um, looks like my router just decided to reset randomly for no apparent reason. Uh, so good job to Mojang. Uh, the reconnecting worked just fine. We're still back in the match here. And yes, you can play Machine Chant on the rat. Get my extra point of energy, which is going to do absolutely nothing because we win. Uh, so there's my automaton deck. Um, there are, you know, I went and read some stuff and saw some things, and it's based on one that's uh, up on one of the sites. That was a pretty good, pretty, pretty good match. The bunny thing was weird. I'll, I'll give it four out of five. Why not? Um, show match info. I've never even looked at that. Oh, I took 23 minutes, and you took zero. You cheater. Okay, it's because it's the computer. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. Damage dealt, units played, spells and enchantments. That's the one thing that that one card only works on spells, not on enchantments or uh, curses or whatever else is out there. And I got more scrolls than he did because I've got some of those uh, things I have give me bonus scrolls like the burn. And highest damage was four. <laughs> that's lame. All right. Anyway, hope you guys liked it. Um. I'm probably not going to play a lot more scrolls or record a lot more. It, it, it's an okay game. I'm enjoying it. Um, recording's a little tough sometimes because you never quite know if it's going to be a 5-minute match or a 40-minute match. But, uh, you know, let me know in the comments if you guys uh, really enjoy this. Uh, maybe I'll try to record a few more. But I think that's going to be probably about it for recording scrolls at this point. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll bring it back after a bit uh, if I if I find the interest again. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, we'll see you in the next video of whatever it happens to be. Catch you later.